So we're making it's the time to, to come here. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's start with hosting the, the U.S. Open, open cup, cup match. I mean, that's huge. <laughs> Yes, it's uh, our first uh, return to the semifinals since our epic run in 2017, when of course we were little David going up against all yeah. the Goliaths. Well, now we're more of a Goliath, but for real, uh, for real. So we're in the semifinals. Uh, we're hosting it at TQL Stadium on August the 23rd, 7 p.m. kickoff against Inter Miami. And of course, Inter Miami had a little bit of news this week. Lionel so Messi, I mean, is he coming here? Well, they have to get the deal over the finish line, but I think everyone is expecting that they will. Yeah. And then certainly he would be playing. It's for a trophy uh, and qualifying for the uh, regional right. uh, championships could next you, season. Could you give people who maybe don't know the magnitude of Messi? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, could you give an analogy to an American athlete? Yeah. Like, oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a good okay. stat. He has, he's the most famous sports star in the world. He has 469 million followers on Instagram, oh which is more than LeBron, Steph Curry, Shatani, Mike Trout, Patrick Mahomes, Tom <laughs> Brady, Tiger Woods, Alex Morgan, <laughs> wow. combined. Oh, combined. <laughs> combined. Oh, my God. So he's a big That's deal. That's crazy. Yes. So, so what does it mean, not just for the team, I mean, for the team, of course, but the whole city to have this coming here in August? Well, I, we've said since the beginning, soccer is the most popular sport in the yeah. world. There's more people playing soccer on this planet than all the other sports combined. This is probably the greatest of all time. <laughs> uh, he just won the World Cup, the best player. He's won the best player in the world multiple times. Uh, and, you know, given that this is the world sport and, and we're still growing Major League Soccer in this country, the best players in the world haven't traditionally played in the U.S. Mm. They play in Europe, whether it be in the English Premier League or in Spain. Uh, so the fact that the great Lionel Messi is coming to Cincinnati to play at TQL Stadium is a real treat for our fans. So our yeah. season ticket holders will have an opportunity to buy their same seats that they sit in for all of our FC Cincinnati matches. They get matches. first crack, right? They yeah. will get first crack. We'll okay. send an email out here in a few weeks. And, okay. and then, of course, the public who maybe aren't season ticket holders will have an opportunity. Maybe some people will want to buy season tickets for next year <laughs> right. to give themselves the opportunity, of course, <laughs> to get tickets to see Messi. Oh, neat. How does it feel to you to have I mean, you probably knew in, in the back of your mind, we are going to be this huge success, but you had a couple rough patches along the way. But I mean, you knew this whole time that this was what Cincinnati needed and that you were going to be able to build a team like this that was going to be undefeated at home. Well, I think Carl Linder and I knew that the city was ready for something new and uh, that soccer was the world sport. And our plan was always to get Cincinnati ahead of all the other cities that hadn't figured out what we had figured out was that this was going to be a big deal. Mm. And so we got Cincinnati in. One of our uh, three core values was to be a winning team. We did that in the USL. We had great success, made the playoffs every year, won our first trophy, of course, our last year in the minor leagues in 2018. And then we became an expansion team more quickly than any other city has ever had to do. Most St. Louis having a good year. They had three years to watch everyone oh. and plan. We went right into the right, league right. Uh, within months. And so we, no, no question, we fumbled the expansion uh, transition and our fans were blessing us with patience. Mm. But of course, we made a big change with the new GM, the new head coach last year, made the playoffs last year, our first playoff win. And I think everyone knew after last year that we had a, a, a quiet confidence that we could be a really successful team this year. And of course, you know, to have lost one time in 16 matches and then you throw it's in the incredible. Open Cup. It's amazing. It's incredible. Let's talk about those fans. You said the patient fans, yeah. but these are some of the most fun people to watch. They never whether stop. I don't understand. When you just go to Washington Park to watch yeah. them with a march or you're at the you're at the stadium. I mean, it, it, what about, the talk about that fan base. I know. Well, it's been that way since Nippert. Right. If you remember, we were drawing 30,000 yeah. our first year at Nippert Stadium. <laughs> so we are blessed by fans who share our love of city. And, and really, the origin of the club is around love of city. Mm. And you know, pe people will tell you, I I'm not a big soccer fan, but I really love being a part of the match experience with FC Cincinnati mm -hmm. and supporting what our club is about. When you look at all what we're doing in the West End and all that we do from a, a, a you know, we took the Marvin Lewis Community Fund when Marvin left, we brought that in-house. So we're, we're very connected to try to make a big impact in this community. And so our fans have been there from the beginning. And, you know, now that the team is at a high peak, right, in this brilliantly beautiful stadium, it shows so amazing and it's just so much fun. Uh, Chicago, we played them the other night. They have a big worldwide star on their team. 
uh, one of the highest paid players okay. in the league, played all over the world. Mm. And I had a chance to see him in the tunnel after the game and said, what would you think of the environment here? And he said, you know, as good as any in the world. Wow. 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 That's great. <laughs> That's amazing. It is well, amazing. Well, congratulations to you for all that you've done. You know, that, you. It, just an incredible success. So yeah. thanks for, for bringing that all to Cincinnati. Thank you. Grew up over on the west side. That's Very right. still here, yeah. Jeff. Thank you so much. Thank you both. <laughs> Go FCC. That's right. Yes. Game tomorrow in Vancouver. Yeah. Smoke's not going to. Yeah, have you heard anything about that? I think that? it's a little bit too to the. Okay. We're, Vancouver's so west. Okay. okay. Good. I think we're going to be okay. All right. Okay. Go get them tomorrow. Jeff Birding, thank you. <laughs> Time now is nine eighteen. It may be the little Miami.